I got a few more. And the winner is. What is this? Oh, oh, yeah. What can I do? closed so you have no chance to get in when they do the starts they start here it's in here it's snow they put snow in here in the first part so that they uh, have a good start there's another tent outside to warm up when it's cold and altitude here is 1670 meters and they ski all the way down close to the gondola that's 800 yeah. meters the last Norwegian guy who was standing up here was last in juice The track is 3,300 meters long and um, uh, visitors, there are always three Norwegian guys and 100,000 more people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole weekend it's very busy but as the others know because they're not only here only for the race they're also here for skiing and, and, and they are good skiers sometimes and, and the slopes are empty you know, because everybody's at the bottom they are having parties and everything and, uh, and so it's difficult to get rooms and, and hotel rooms in, in Kitzbühel so there are no normal skiers here, so when you come up, it's empty and perfect, perfect skiing. Why Kitzbühel became so famous? It was 1892, and a guy from Kitzbühel, he was the first one who was walking up with skis in the Kitzbühel area. And the reason why, he read a book from a Norwegian guy. Ah. From Fridjof Nansen. Yeah. Ah. So and he, he was so interested in it, so he brought the first skis and he was the pioneer here in Kitzbühel. It was Franz Reich and this started in 1892. Hmm. And uh, the first race we had already in 1888. Little race for skiing, more jumping and these things. And in 1927 we had already the first gondola. The first gondola in Austria was here. Yes. And that's why we had in the 50s and 60s we had the most famous skiers of the world in, in, in Kitzbühel. They are, you can see them in the back. There is uh, Andal Moltora, Tony Seiler, of course, the most famous one. But Andal Moltora is the one who won 13 times the Hanenkamp race. With combination, won the slalom, won the downhill. So he is the most successful winner here in, in Kitzbühel. So and there's, of course, one more hour more to talk. But we enjoy the sun outside. So I explain you something new, a new invention. Maybe you don't know it. It's a kind of. So we need somebody who shows us how to do it. So the closest is Teresa. She shows us how to sit on it. It's easy. 
Ay, 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 ay. Las dos sirvieron. So, the program, whoever likes to do it, we have 12 of them, we can do some competition with this. And I also have some little prizes. Also, men are allowed to do it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> But therefore, because it was so warm the last uh, two weeks, so as you see, it's the last weekend for skiing, and here the snow is already gone. The gondolas is close, are closing uh, tomorrow. So, who is interested to do it or to watch it? We have to walk about three, four minutes down mm. over there, this way, and then there is more snow. We do a little competition. We need teams. Yes. Teams are uh, four people, one team. Okay.